Governor Scott Walker says tonight he will not expand the state's Medicaid program under the federal health care law. It was health advocates. It, it has health advocates concerned about what it may mean for the state's low income residents. Political reporter Jessica Arp has details on the new plan. My goal in looking at this is two things. One, I want to have fewer people in the state who are uninsured. But along with that, I'd like to have fewer people in this state who are dependent on the government. Governor Scott Walker speaking to Wisconsin Manufacturers and Commerce Business Day announced a controversial decision to reject a federal expansion of Medicaid funding and take his own approach. The more people we get into private insurance and into the exchanges, the more latitude they have over what happens in their lives and the lives of their families. The governor's plan would allow thousands of childless adults onto Badger Care, but push thousands of others off the program and into new federal health care exchanges. He says the net effect would be 224,000 more people in the state would be insured. But in the end, it's a way of, for us to manage our costs uh, and a way to move people off of what routinely has been a heavily driven uh, government subsidy, which is Medicare. If this is Walker Care, I think it's something, uh, you know, I would urge the legislature to walk away from. Health care advocates and Democrats are calling the decision puzzling, short-sighted, and even reckless, saying accepting the federal money would have moved 175,000 people onto Badger Care. You know, this is not the middle ground. I mean, the middle ground would have been an opportunity to really extend and expand coverage for people in Wisconsin. Some will portray this as, as not caring about people. I think it's just the opposite. I care too much about the people of this state not to empower them to control their own destiny. It sure doesn't look that way. It sure smells a lot like politics, and it doesn't look like it doesn't look like a caring governor reaching out to help the least fortunate in our state. In Madison, Jessica Arp, WISC News 3. The governor also announced other changes to entitlement programs, saying he'll require nearly 80,000 people to be in a job training program to be eligible for food stamps and require those out of work to be looking for work four or more times a week to be eligible for unemployment.